back to the organized author <clears throat> sorry got a frog in my throat I'm Lucinda and for today's video I just wanted to give you guys some tips on planner storage when you have limited space or and or a limited budget so this is how you can store some of your planner stuff on a budget and this is what I use and I keep in my car this is what I use specifically to keep in my car for when I'm out and about I'm going to volleyball tournaments for the weekend or something I'm working on a project and I need to take it with me and so I keep some stuff in here and there's enough room that you can put everything in what the budget part is is this is not like an Aura Kylie storage um, container storage uh, luggage this is not a Louis Vuitton or whatever the other name brands are that out there I shopped at the thrift store for this and I think I paid like $2.99 for it so if you're going to take this option um, it's great to save money and you just got to make sure that you know what you need before you go so how much room do you need um, how much weight are you willing to carry and all those different kinds of things just kind of have an idea what you're looking for so you don't just pick up something that looks spacious or looks uh, that'll be good enough and then you take it home and you don't like it even though you may have only spent $2.99 on it um, but if you do you know hey you're not out of very much money and you can do something else um, as you figure it out that works for you so I found this at the thrift store and it is working perfectly for me I will just start with the outside pocket first so this is February February is almost over but um, so a lot of the stuff that's in here is kind of pink and red and all that kind of stuff but right here on the side I'll just take uh, a little bit out at a time <clears throat> I've got different let me hold these up so you can see them different washi tapes um, that go with Valentine's Day and the month of February I'll be changing this out to have stuff that's more like the spring so I'll be doing that in just a few days but I've got I just want you to see so you can see those I'll set that down um, to see all of the different how much washi tape I got in here and there's some more okay so I've got all that washi tape in there I'll put all this back it's just kind of in this corner and then I also have a hole punch and then I have some this is some uh, leftover embroidery thread for a Lucinda Dory planner I was working on it still has the needle in it and then this uh, is a little let me back that up so you can see it a little uh, photo album to keep some stickers on it for when I'm on the go and I use stamps to make those and then this is where I wrap up some extra embroidery thread and elastic to keep with me and there's some also that I need to wrap around there and then I'll just put the one that has the needle in it right here so I won't stab myself so that's on the little outside pocket and this brand was called Ricardo I don't even know what that is but that's uh, it says Ricardo Beverly Hills oh that's actually probably was very expensive originally so let's go on the inside and I'll hold some of this stuff up for you make sure you can see it okay so this is the inside flap it's got a little mirror because this was you know a luggage piece but I have no use for that but it's just still there and then here I've got some highlighters again these are pink and purple for the month some liquid glue these are just some pockets all these are pockets I've got um, a hole punch there I've got some I've got two glue sticks and by the way this scholastic glue stick is the best in the world I mean it is incredible it just does really well and um, it doesn't leave all thick stuff everywhere and this tool which I showed you guys in another video how I make the holes for um, it's made for brads but I use it to help make the holes for making my Lucinda Dory to put the elastic through and then I've got a I don't have any paint in here right now but I use it sometimes I'm using liquid glue to spread it out and I've got um, a corner rounder in here and Let's see over here. I've got a couple of pins. You can see those. I got a couple of sharpies. I got some scissors. And then there's also room right in here. So that my camera died. Okay, I'm back. So um, also right in here in this space, right there, I have uh, some buttons which I use. If you can see that, buttons are in this little baggie for when I make Lucinda doors. There's some black ones, and there's some white ones. 
And also in here, I've got just some little strips of cardboard and um, tape. You can see that. Yeah, tape right there. And I think that's it in there. And okay, I'm sorry about that again. I think I got my camera all situated now. Okay, so now this is what I was going to show you. These came four in a pack for $2.99 at Target. And I love them. These beautiful metal uh, gold what do you call them? Paper clips. I just think they're gorgeous. So I got those just kind of hanging over the side here. Put that all back. Um, all right. Oh, before I do that, there's stuff in here. And this is where I keep, um, let's see if I can get it out. This is where I keep um, the needles, a little package. Come on little package of needles for doing my um, lucinadori with the embroidery thread okay and I also like how um, and there's room to put stuff in here but I don't have anything in there right now and I like how these paper clips you can clip them you know either way and it's kind of a different design so I really like that so I'll put this back ah okay got that one here and I don't know why I'm having struggle today with this because it's usually really easy. Okay, there we go. And then on this side, this the last side, just turn that around a little bit. It's got this big section. And then in here, I just used some, I bought these from Dollar Tree a long time ago, these little mesh bags. You can see that mesh bag. And I just separated different things in there since this is one big compartment except for some of the stuff at the bottom. So in the very bottom, I have a ruler. I have these little, you can see that ruler. I have um, these little gummed index tabs. I have, uh, this is empty I got from Dollar Tree. I don't remember what was in it, but I'm gonna use it to make a traveling uh, watercolor kit. I have a small watercolor kit, but it's bigger than that one. Um, and then this, you know, is the tool. Let me raise that up for you guys. This is the tool that I use to make the holes bigger when I make my Lucinda Dories. So that's what's all at the bottom here. Then I bring this. It's a tiny cutting board. It was in a set of three, and so there were even two more that were smaller than that. Um, and I use that for if I need a flat surface. You know, I never know if I'm in the car or something and um, working or wherever I might be. So I have that. And then these, this bag just holds a bunch of, of the smaller, tiny Lucinda Dories that I have glued the fabric to the poly, like that's the blank polypropylene. That one needs some on the back. But these are fabric pieces and polypropylene that have been cut. Um, and that goes in here. And then here I have a bunch of like office supply stuff and stickies and all that because this is February, although it's almost over. But I'll just keep this for whatever the current, you know, theme is for the year, the season. And I got all these. Well, I got, yeah, I got this from Target. That was more around Christmas time. And I got all the rest of these from Target. Aren't they cute? They're just adorable. And let's see. And that one. Aren't they just so cute? Oh, I wrote something on that. And all of this okay well I hope you guys like this video today if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and um, leave me a comment and tell me if you have a cheap way they are sorry not cheap inexpensive way to hold uh, your planner supplies for on the go or just in general that doesn't break your budget so um, and I appreciate all the comments you guys give me and until next time happy writing